Well, 2015 is already here and January is shooting on rather quickly, so it is about time I looked at which is the top Linux distro of the year. So who will win the Quits Up Linux Distro of the Year award? So literally no expense has been spared on a trophy once again because I heaved it out of the cupboard from last year. So unfortunately with a change of job and moving house this year, I haven't reviewed particularly many distros. Uh, the grand total is 14. So this award will only be out of the distros that I reviewed and that excludes things like Arch and Gen 2 because I haven't reviewed them. So in third place with a score of 82% and is now my distro of choice is Kubuntu 14.04. Yes, I no longer use Ubuntu. <laughs> now KDE is a rather fancy desktop that you can do quite a lot with on the effects and customizations. But a good thing about it is you can just pick it up out the box and use it. And this is what Kubuntu have managed. They've given you a stock version of KDE that you could either use and live with as is, or you could tweak. And what I've done for my system is spent quite a bit of time tweaking it and making it look like Unity, because that's the beauty of it, I can. But on the downside of it, it is not very easy for new users to understand where all these settings are. And also there's this issue with font hinting. It's something you can fix, but the onus is on you if you want to fix it. Not great, but certainly a distro I'm happy with. In second place, with a score of 85%, is Lubuntu 14.04. Now once again, Lubuntu has featured rather highly in my distro scores. And you have to think, oh, how can such a basic distro f be so high? And I like it so much. But this is the beauty of it. It is just basic. You can just pick it up and use it. And yes, you can do a few little customizations to it. But overall, it's lightweight, fast and usable. And sometimes, isn't that all you need out of a system? Well, before we take a look at what's in first place, let's take a look at the bottom of the table. So, the worst distro of this year goes to JU Linux once again. Yes, they were at the bottom of my table last year. So they got 65%. Now, the distro has improved rather significantly from what they did before, because it used to be a bloated mess where they had everything in there. But at least this year, it's a lot more toned down with the number of applications but it felt like someone's desktop. I'm not really interested in systems where they feel like someone's desktop. So in first place, with a score of 88%, is Zorin OS 9. I had a choice of reviewing the Ultimate or Core versions, the Core being the free one and the Ultimate being a rough cheap cost of about 10 euros, I think it was. The main difference being that you get a whole lot more in the Ultimate version and you get a few different custom desktops. Because this is the main selling feature of Distro, that they give you a few different custom desktops. So you get a choice of like Windows 7, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Unity, Gnome, Classic, and I think it was a Mac. So if I mentioned them all there, there's half a dozen. And this Distro suits more new users, I would say. Someone who wants to come across from Windows or Mac and they're used to the style that they had. So you could easily just flick around to change the style of the system. It's great. Okay, it may not suit the advanced user who wants more of a lightweight, slim system, but for a new user, no, it's fine. And the selection of applications they give you in the ultimate version, if a new user could install the distro and just go, and they could look at the selection of applications that we have available in Linux and probably feel comfortable using it. So yeah, a great starting point for new users. The really the distro I would have awarded first place to would have been Solid K because I've scored that a lot higher. Just for the simple fact is they're a whole lot easier to use. There's more sort of tutorials on that and it's just more help as you go along with the system. That's a KDE system as well, but yeah, very usable. Let's look at the top distros of 2014. Now, hopefully I will review a few more in 2015. Not sure, <laughs> perhaps we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.